Welcome to part two. We're going to be finishing up the apartments today, I think. Let's go for a swim here. Carriage. Let me see if I can drag these guys over here. There we go. Let's see if there's anything else out here. Try it over here, though. Let's see. Sounds like somebody's throwing up. with that red pyramid. <laughs> red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. About you. I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um, you be careful too. So that was an awkward little cutscene. The uh, design for that character, I'm actually not sure about. He looks almost like a child the way he's dressed. Got some legs sticking out of a refrigerator. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules 
and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark Oh. I believe that there was a, uh, we opened up a gap to the other apartment building. I think it was on the second floor here. Fun little fact, since we're just doing so much walking right now, the uh, sound director for the game actually recorded over a hundred different footsteps, I believe avoid monotony and also to add more atmosphere to the game which for 2001 is pretty impressive amount of recording I see, this control does a quick switch between weapons. I didn't realize that. It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? It looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. Twelve nine eighteen three. Twelve nine eighteen three. So, little uh, fact in Silent Hill Three, there's a sequence at the beginning of that game where you're in a bathroom, and there's a nasty-looking toilet in it like that. And if you prompt the main character to try to reach into the toilet, they'll consider it, they'll ponder it for a moment, and then they'll just get really grossed out and look at the camera and say. Who the hell would do something like that? Let's check that combination again. I'll bet it's for that safe there. Oops. There we go. 12, 9, 18, 3. Okay, they're all divisible by 3. Let's try this. Twelve, nine, eighteen. Shoot, jumped one too far. Twelve, nine, eighteen. That's a lot of ammunition. That's the sort of thing that suggests there might be a boss fight coming. We don't have a map, do we? Ooh. That looks like a map to me.
try out the rest of these rooms. So these mannequin monsters, um, I believe they were inspired by the work of German photographer uh, Hans Bellmer. He uh, began producing art with sort of deformed dolls and whatnot back in the 1930s uh, in opposition to the Nazi party of Germany and their sort of cult of the perfect body that they were beginning to build. He had to flee Germany and go to France after his work was declared degenerate by the Nazi party. Start this way. There's something written on the desk. Three bright coins and five halls be. At one end sits the seducer of she, the wind from behind, the woman doth play. The formless one, Noel, lies furthest from they. The old one behind, beside the serpent sits not, tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. There's a line of five one-inch round depressions set into the table. We need three coins. Looks like we only have two so far. Go ahead and save. Explore all of that one, yeah. Huh. Green stuff is supposed to be. James. Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, 
I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. There's our second encounter with that character. Let's see, let me open the menu again. There we go. There's no way to use it or anything, it's just there in our inventory. Ah, there's the third coin. Try these last couple of doors and go put those coins in. Oh, yeah, and one thing worth mentioning um, back in part one, I forgot to bring it up. Whenever we first found that flashlight, uh, it was on a mannequin, and the mannequin appeared to be wearing the same dress as our protagonist's dead wife is in this picture. Room 105. I think it was in here. Let's see. Yeah, there's the save point. We'll use that again because I said I imagine there's got to be a boss fight moving around the corner. Where's that riddle? Oh, is it actually on the thing itself? Three bright coins and five holes B. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, no, lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent is not. Tis to the prisoners left that he doth rot. Okay. So, the snake is the seducer. And then furthest away from it is nothing. The old man doesn't sit beside the snake, so and he's to the prisoner's left. Oops. Mine's a deal. This is a little bit irritating. Oh, have to get perfectly lined up to. Oh, come on. No. Oops, got that one wrong. Uh, that out. Old man here. Hmm. 
All right, let's try um, try working from the opposite end. Check the puzzle one more time. And one end is the snake. Empty ones on the opposite side. Old man is to the left of the of the prisoner. So if we put the snake on the right side, we have two possibilities for where the old man and the prisoner can be because it doesn't say whether the prisoner is next to the snake or not. I have a feeling that there's going to have to be a gap between the snake and the prisoner. Yep, alright. Oops, darn it. <laughs> There we go. Got the line house key. Huh. Let's see. Had some locked doors previously. I think they were on the other floor. Check these rooms as well. Ooh, bug. Actually, let's also see if we can get to the third story. Nope. Okay, I think our locked door... Oh, we didn't try 201. Oh, that's why. Okay, our locked doors are on the other side of the hall here. Okay, there we go. Nothing that looks to be of any use. By staring at that envelope. I got the apartment stairway key. Okay. Where's the apartment stairway? Yeah, there's nothing else in here for us, it doesn't look like, and the stairway's right up there, so... Doesn't seem to be working too well. It's a big honking knife he's got there.
I don't know if I really want to be going down here after him, but... Let's see. So that's our first actual fight with the red pyramid thing. In the original conception of that monster, it didn't have a helmet initially. But uh, one of the designers added that big ass, you know, rusty metal triangular helmet. I think they wanted it to represent pain. It looks pretty painful. That overhead chop that he did, I believe that move will actually kill you in one hit. Okay, we're over on the western side of town now. I have no idea how to navigate these maps. Okay. Let's do that. There's the park up there. I believe that was our goal initially. you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Fairly bad dialogue. Let's head straight on over to the park. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you, I'm Maria. Sorry, I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Well, there's the hotel too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? 
yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? <laughs> or maybe... You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. All right, we just made a new friend. The uh, the costume design on Maria actually is based off of it's almost identical to an outfit that Christina Aguilera wore in like 1999 or 2000. There's a photo of it somewhere. I'll see if I can uh, actually I'll, I'll put find that photo and put it on Imager and put a link to it in the description to the video. And then I'll put one of uh, Maria, because it's pretty uncanny. They obviously just were like, yeah, let's use that outfit. The face animations during the dialogue are a little bit awkward. If I recall correctly, they used motion capture for most of the animations in the game with respect to the characters. But they didn't do it for the faces, because they felt like it wouldn't be able to capture everything properly. So they actually animated the facial expressions and the dialogue by hand. I'm not sure if I agree with the results being that good, but I guess this was a long time ago too, so. Oh, the hotel is over this way. steel pipe. There we go. to Heaven's Night. Oh, we can't get there from here. I'm headed in the right way, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. It's locked. here. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. 
I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay? So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fat so. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you're sorry? I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? Eddie? Oh, um, you're... James. We met in the apartment building? Yeah, I remember. But... Uh... Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. that girl anyhow I don't know all I know is her name I swear eating pizza in the bowling alley oh shoot somebody's uh talking on stream downside of trying to stream and record at the same time, I suppose. It's very easy to get too wrapped up. Let's see, was there actually anything of interest here? Like from the cutscenes. here yeah she was too fast for me aren't you gonna go after her maybe that door is unlocked now we'll see Nope. 
it should go. this road. I don't think we've done that yet. Some uh, frame rate issues here, it looks like. That's strange. What does that say? Silent Hill Tavern? Oh, jeez. Okay. That was, um... That was something. society which we can't get into okay, I think I'm just going to use the uh, the built-in save function on the PC instead of waiting for the next red box we'll wrap up part two right there and try to figure out where the heck to go next sometime soon <laughs>